our upcoming exhibition at the Cezanne Art Gallery at Porter College is called The Dinner Parties, Art and Agriculture. <clears throat> and we have, um, we're highlighting Jim Denovan's work with Outstanding in the Field. And if you come up on April 10th, you'll see a really fabulous um, uh, installation on the Porter Lawn where we're going to install a uh, a large uh, dinner dinner setting with um, for a, for a photo shoot, and then we're going to have a stand up dinner party for the reception around it because um, hopefully we'll have too many people. Um, so what we're trying to do is um, highlight the exhibition, and we have several artists involved. We have Jim Denovan. Um, we have E.G. Crichton, who's a professor here, and Susan Working. They do collaborative work and um, of t table pieces, so some really interesting um, table conversations that come up, um, videotaped from underneath the table. And Susan Working does some fabulous um, uh, wood pieces, and you'll see a video inset into some tables of where the actual trees came from. Uh, and so there's, we're really oh, getting into this idea great. of what is a creative dinner party. Um, um, and that's really launched by Jim Denovan and his work uh, with Outstanding in the Field. We'll have tons of um, large photos and a slideshow of his work. Um, and then Jerome Wagg and Chris Sollers are a collaborative group from the Bay Area. Uh, Jerome Wagg is a, um, one of the head chefs at Chez Panais in, in Berkeley. And um, Chris Sollers is a performance and uh, artist in San Francisco, an installation artist. Uh, and they've joined together to create a democratic uh, dinner party called melt the pot so you come in and you vote for which vegetables and which um what things you want to eat for the dinner and you vote with a grain of salt and it's it really highlights a lot of the democratic process that goes on in this country um and, I, and I love fabulous. chris Sollers. work oh, good. i think he's fabulous and it's wonderful that he's coming down and he's, we had a show of his in 2002 um early 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 cell phone um, show, but anyway, uh, both Jerome. He's Wagg still and doing Chris, great work. He is. He's it's always different. different. <laughs> <laughs> He's either growing a beard and shaving it off at the Yerba Buena. <laughs> I right. saw that one, or, or he made a movie about um, the split in his own family mm -hmm. uh, in how they in voted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Democrat mm -hmm. and Republican, and. Mm -hmm. um, so Jerome Wagg and Chris Sollers will be here on uh, May eighth to do. Um, uh, one of our weekly lectures. So we're doing, uh, we're open late at the Sazanon Gallery, open um, Tuesdays through Saturday, uh, 12 to 5, and then Wednesdays we're open late, 12 to 8. So every Wednesday this month we're going to have um, some great events. We're going to talk about permaculture. Uh, then um, another artist who's there is Chelsea Wills, and she is um, an artist who also uh, has joined with the agroecology group, and um, she leads tours down to Mexico. Uh, with her partner and and they're going to be giving a talk on April 24th about about those tours and a lot of uh, UCSC students know about those and she's doing a monochromatic dinner party where um, she's done all natural dyes uh, of the shades of green and so you'll see greens from celery to mint and there's several shades in between from celery to mint so that's part of the creative dinner party uh, and you have to wear green to that party so you know if you want if you you can wear anything you want to the opening, but um, if you want to wear green, that would be great. Um, also, there's another... Um, all, all this information life. is... It's on our website. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and one other thing, um, Farnaz Fateme is doing a potato... Uh, I mean, sorry, tomato and poetry uh, cultivation, and so that's on May 1st. So all there's so much activity going on up at UCSC in the arts, and um, this will dovetail... And, and still be going on during the um, Danum MFA show. And oh, we're hoping great. there's some overlap. Uh, people will come to the Danum show and then they'll come over to the Cessnon and vice versa. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep, you know, keep the arts alive at UCSC. Oh, yeah. You're a big, big part of that, Shelby Graham. Uh, you can go to arts.ucsc.edu forward slash Cessnon and get all the information. You can also go to artistonart.com where I'll have this information as well, as well as the podcast and the video of the beautiful Shelby Graham. Um, this is a really interesting concept, the dinner parties, art and, ar and agriculture. Uh, it's a collaboration with local local farmers, local mm -hmm. chefs, as well as uh, contemporary and conceptual art. How did this 
did the farmers come to you and say, hey, we want to do some art? Or how did, <laughs> did you come up with this? <laughs> uh, well, um, this is co-curated um, uh, uh, along with uh, Mark Shunny, who is right. the uh, assistant curator at the Cezanne Gallery and the gallery manager. Um, I This is something we, I mean, we came up with. I, I've always been interested in... In, in food and um, local agriculture and the whole food movement. And my sister's a nutritionist and um, she was always told me we got to get more people back into the kitchen. And then when we were looking for um, uh, press for this show, uh, Mark came up with a Michael Pollan um, quote that says, let's get everybody back in the kitchen. We need, you know, men cooking with men, women cooking with women, men and women cooking together, children and the whole families cooking together, get back in the kitchen and, you know, go to the farmer's market, eat your local foods. And so then we started looking around I and mean, there's a lot of artists doing work about food. It's, you know, with, there's a food it's movement on going mind. on. It's yeah. not, um, and it's been going on for a while. So, and then a lot of our artists use food, you know, Derek is using food. Uh, we're growing plants in the Digital Arts New Media Building. So. It, this is nothing new, but it's <clears throat> it's time to put it all together. And um, then the other the, the the title came from you know Judy Chicago's the dinner party. The dinner party, and, and I saw She's that in, been, in the seventies. Right. I mean, she she came up for me right away when you started talking about what E.G. Crichton is doing. And mm -hmm. um, would you mind just describing a little bit for people what Judy Chicago did in the early seventies? Wasn't it? Right. Um, she created. A triangle. Yeah, she, she created this triangle-shaped um, dinner party, and um, and I'm not sure the number of plates, but significant number. And each plate uh, represented a famous woman, and um, they were all made by uh, women artists. Um, you know, from the plates to the glazing to, uh, you know, it was really a communal experience. And um, and then she documented it. She wrote uh, through the flower, uh, and it was just um, this empowering kind of art movement um, and to this day it you know it's a classic um, it exhibition piece and I remember for a while they were trying to uh, you know locate it where could this live because it I think it had been in boxes and um, they even they approached UCSC to to have it here and it was one of those we didn't we didn't have a place uh, for it but um, anyway so it was a strong feminist piece and I think a lot of people were uh, affected by it and that whole thing that it's it's a, uh, about collaboration um, doing things together, making something bigger uh, than you can make alone. And that was one of the things about this show, because the Cezanne Gallery is very small. We're a small footprint, um, and we wanted to do something larger than we could do. So we, we, we want to encourage everyone to have some sort of creative dinner party. And um, we have an online posting system, similar to that the gallery you mentioned online. And we have a Tumblr site, so we want you to post your creative dinner parties and that can range from anything to having a quiet dinner uh, with a partner or uh, if you're into monochromatic and you want to have all green green dinner you know go right. for it go for that or if, uh, and many people have told us how they've had um, dinner parties on bridges they've had dinner parties with, uh, with cut out people they've had dinner parties with um, you know everything grown in their their backyard and th there's so many different ways you can have a creative dinner party and I, I also want to highlight too how Jim Denovan is doing these fabulous things of um, outstanding in the field he's because he's a large um, uh, earth art drawer he draws in sand and some of his table settings uh, when he shoots from an aerial view look like some of his drawings so there's a big overlap you know with yeah on many levels so yeah. I think it's I think it's great and Santa Cruz is so well known for its uh, organic movement, food movement, sustainable agriculture, you know, you can really take it at any level or bring a, have a feminist dinner party, you know, bring things to the table. And that's what the, <clears throat> the Harrison's exhibition did for us at the Cezanne. They said that artists can bring things to the table that <clears throat> not everyone can. So it's a really nice thing that um, bring your issues to the table and, and see where it goes and have a conversation. Get back to observing, you know, what Derek was saying. Don't let your machines take over. Um, right. Try to just uh, have a conversation with some real people and real food. Right, right. Um, if you want to go to Facebook and like this, uh, it's the, it, on Facebook it's Cessnon Art Gallery. That's right. And there's the, the Cessnon uh, Facebook page there as well. And the Danum has a Facebook page, so please like the Danum and that's right. try to um, spread that word about um, yeah, what we're doing up here. Yeah, so the Danum and then Artist on Art also is on Facebook. <laughs> and 
Uh, Derek, are you on Facebook? Or? Oh, well, just go to the Adam site. Check out Ground Control, and there's links to all of our uh, personal research cases. Mm -hmm. Be great to have some people check them out. So, Derek, do you have a website? Uh, only through Danum. Just danum.ucsc.edu slash tilde, D-E-R-Y-K-E. There you go. Derek, D-E-R-Y-K-E. I know he's, he's a Derek with a... Uh, as a one, uh, the one word uh, name, but when he puts his name together, we had to spell it another way. <laughs> and so uh, Shelby Graham has been here talking about being the curator for the digital arts um, and new media MFA exhibition this year, Ground Control, CTRL, Ground Control, as well as this amazing uh, series coming up, the dinner parties, art and architecture. Art and Agriculture, a collaboration between local agriculture and contemporary art. And it begins this April 10th, this Wednesday, from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, and it'll be outside in, in the... Well, well there'll be a, a photo shoot outside on the landing, so you'll see the big red bus, the Outstanding in the Field bus. And then um, you'll see the big dinner pa table. Then you have to come up to the gallery to see all the um, installation photos and the... Um, and the voting booth and all sorts of other things. And we'll have the, the food will be near the gallery. So you, you have to come to the gallery to get food. <laughs> so there will be food. There will be food. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there students. There will be local, local food. <laughs> local food. Mm -hmm. And who's, who's Who's bringing the food for this? It's, it's, a, it's a blend of things. We did get some donations from Happy Boy Farms, oh, and we're also putting a big plug for the Homeless Garden Project. We also, the farm is giving us a lot of strawberries. We're also using, um, um, we're trying to encourage all the students to shop at the farmer's market and buy local. So we'll have the list of all the farms that are in the area. Um, so. You know, it's just a it's a win win, and when people realize what's being grown around around them, they'll be more aware of what they're eating. And yeah, that's great. and and the creative process. A lot of people said, "What's going to be in the gallery if you know?" If it's and, food. If it's food, and so we you'll see. I mean, there's some really fabulous things and um, fabulous tables, uh, fabulous uh, interactive um, uh, interactive things, as well as. Um, you know, videos and a comment board and a place to post your photos. So I hope people will participate in the online uh, dinner parties. And it'd be fun if everyone spontaneously would just pop up dinner parties, you know, downtown or on fields or in streams, other places. You know, you can do this at oh, home. <laughs> my, my girlfriend, uh, I, I heard about it from my girlfriend who mm -hmm. said, I want to do a dinner party like this and sent me the link okay. before I even knew about it. Nice. So April 17th is permaculture. Yes. April 24th is Imagined Gardens, Art and Agriculture in Rural Mexico. Right, and name, name the two. That's Chelsea, Chelsea Wills. Wills and Devin Sampson. Right. May 1st is Cultivation, Tomatoes and Poetry with Fernaz Fatemi. May 8th, Melt the Pot, Democratic Dinners with Jerome Wagg and Chris Sollers. Uh, this is going to be a really great series, and I hope I get to do as many of them as you can. These are all free and open to the public, right? That's right, and we do take donations. And you do, of course, take donations. And the one thing you got to worry about is parking. That's the one. No, thing. don't worry about parking. That's a myth. Just come up and just you should have some quarters, or you can always come to the gallery and ask us for a parking spot. Pass if you cannot find one, but do, um, anyway, don't you, let that you, stop don't, you. Yeah, don't let the parking stop okay. you. There's buses, there's bicycles, uh, and there's plenty of parking, especially on Fridays. Um, just to let you know, Porter College, there's a lot of parking. Uh, we have meters, and it's not. And that, Wednesdays too, after five, it should be pretty good. I mean, right? Oh yeah, Wednesdays, yeah. no problem. Yeah, because so. that's when the series. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the right. night. Is Wednesday, the Wednesdays mm -hmm. at five. And at the opening, we rent the parking lot. We have we have people selling parking passes. So we're trying to break the myth that uh, parking's a problem. So don't let that stop you. Thank you, Shelby. That's <laughs> um, well, thanks again for coming up and talking with us. Sure, um, doing your curatorial magic, Shelby Graham. Okay, well, the Digital Arts New Media Show is going to be fabulous. We're going to really transform the Digital Arts New Media or the Digital Arts Research Center into a living entity. So I w want you to come up and feel the pulse. Yeah, I can't help but keep hearing David Bowie in my mind. Yeah. No, we'll I, have I wish it. I could we'll just have play. It playing. Bring it up right now. Why not? Um, tell us just something real quick. Tell you. Uh, um, what else is coming? Okay, well, 
we, we would well we do have the Irwin Scholars exhibition coming up at the end of May so we are we're really busy up here uh, at the Cezanne Gallery at UCSC um, uh, the other thing I do want to encourage you is to um, submit your photos on our Tumblr site that's and you can just log on to um, or just go to the Cezanne website uh, at, and you can always get to us through the Arts Division website at arts.ucse.edu. Sounds like a great lineup there. I'm just trying to trying to bring up ground control um, so that we can uh, hear a little little. I don't know if this is going to work. Well, I can tell you a little more too about the Digital Arts New Media Program. Uh, one of the critical components of the program is the collaborative um, and faculty-led research groups that the students get involved with. And so this is a great time where um, students and faculty work together. They publish, co-publish things, and um, work on a larger uh, exhibition and research projects together. So it really is a, a fabulous program on that. And the Mine was with uh, Jennifer Parker. We were okay. in the Mechatronics group. Uh, with Jennifer Parker and the Mechatronics group, one of the, now there's five different disciplines you can be in part of in Danum. And uh, yeah, aside from just being a, a great uh, work group, we got to do some uh, s summer installations at the Chronicle building. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Sudhu Tiwari over in the PhD music department put on a lot of uh, interactive sound art. You know, we all have our, our flavor. Mine was just a bunch of re recycled, like reconstituted organ uh, spring reverbs mm. and uh, hand-assembled hand, uh, tines with transducers. I think the last piece was some uh, columns from Harry Bertoya, uh, an old artist back uh, when the Eames were making chairs. He was making chairs, too, and he made these uh, amazing resonant columns of uh, thin steel. So I made uh, three or four of those. And that's going back to the roots of UCSC, how uh, when it was first um, started, they really wanted faculty and students to kind of, you know, live and uh, work near near each other so that there could be this interaction with um, professional work. And, you know, now it, it's kind of being recreated with interdisciplinarity in the Digital Arts New Media program. And we're seeking more interdisciplinarity with the um, new Institute for Arts and Sciences. So that's the next big thing on the horizon. So that's going to be, a, you know, several radio shows coming up. Yay! Well, th thank you both for coming up. Sure. Um, we're out with David Bowie's Space Oddity. Stay tuned, everybody, for Indie Babies! Ground Control.